Hello, dear friends. I just wanted to share a little story with y'all. and This is a story back from my past. And it's got to do with learning how to pray for somebody that I just could not stand. I mean, I had endured so much hurt from this person. Now, I'm not giving any advice on... You know, somebody that's dealing with physical abuse or this or that and the other. No, that's something, you know, that's for you to do and what you believe is the right thing to do. But I'm more talking about with this person. It was somebody that was verbally abusive, slurs, um, constantly humiliating me. Every time I turn around, making me feel bad as a mother. You know, just belittling me. Um, and I and I talked with a dear friend today and was kind of sharing a little bit about things like this. And it just got me thinking. And I thought, you know, I'm going to kind of share this little story just to show how the Lord worked in this situation for me. And he's not partial. And he doesn't show favoritism. And his word is for you. You know, those promises are for you. And, um, it's why I share it in hopes that it might help somebody. Because if he has done it for me, he will do it for you. <coughs> Excuse me. But, <clears throat> so this person, like I said, and I'm telling you, up until I started walking with the Lord and getting to know him, desiring, had a desire to know his ways and just all that kind of stuff, I would fire back at that person. I would tell her like it is, or like how I thought it was. Um, I would talk about her behind her back to others. Always telling others the bad, the what she did. Because that's all I could say about her was bad. I, I, it was very hard for me if somebody had said, name one positive thing about this person. I couldn't find one. And I'm just telling you, it was that kind of deal. And look, I didn't choose to be spending time with that person. It was a very close, in a family type of situation. I had to be around her. With my children, this, that, and the other. And, you know, I mean, how many times did I cry? And how many times... I'm just telling you it was bad. So, this have you got anybody in your life like that? Maybe it's not as bad, or maybe it's even worse. But this is just be for you to think about. So, what started happening was, here I am reading his word, and trying to figure out how to do his word, you know? And so, I saw right there in the scripture, very plainly, pray for your enemy. And so, I said, okay, Lord, here I am. I mean... This person feels like my biggest enemy. You know, I mean, it's every time I turn around, hurting me, bad-mouthing me, talking about me to others, you name it. And so, Lord, I want to try to pray for this person. And the Lord knew the sincerity of my heart, you know, and he knows yours. And as far as I could, and the best I knew how, I was trying to pray for this person. And, you know, mainly my prayers back then was, Lord, please show this person how mean they are to me. You know, please show them how bad they hurt me, Lord. Those were my prayers. And, and you know, I would just say, all right, I don't even know. I don't even know if I... And I would say, like, um, please, Lord, show them who you are. Let them get to know you. Give them a new heart. Things like that. And then I would finish with the prayer and look up to heaven and really not know if I really meant it. I didn't because my feelings and emotions and everything were opposite of what I was trying to do, which was follow the scripture that said, pray for your enemies. And so I would even say, Lord, you know, I feel like a hypocrite. I don't know if I mean this. I don't know if I do. Only you do. But I'm trying, Lord. I, I, 
my feelings and emotions aren't lining up with this. I, I've got anger in my heart towards this person. I can recall just about every word they've ever said to me that was hurtful. I could. So, anyways, time went on, you know. And another scripture that, you know, I really had to put into practice and try to learn what it meant and how to do it. I got the opportunity to do it with this person. And that was, leave vengeance in the hands of the Lord. Don't repay evil for evil. But overcome evil by doing good. Well, I just didn't know how to do it. <coughs> and with this person... It felt like constantly it was evil done against me. And so I remember this one specific specific time. My little daughter, I mean, maybe eight years old, nine years old, had told me what this person had said to her. And it was just downright dirty. And it was something that stuck in my daughter's mind. And it had to do with her weight. And I mean, it was ugly, y'all. And if you knew who it was coming from, you would just wouldn't believe it. But for sake of not disclosing too much information, I'm going to keep going. And y'all, I'm telling you, anybody has kids will know. You mess with the babies and the big bad wolf might come out. And the big bad wolf wanted to come out of Misty. I wanted to pull up in that person's driveway and wring her neck, tell her off. I mean, that's just the truth. But I said, Lord, I said, I remember the prayer. I, Lord, if you don't help me, I'm going to let my mouth fly. I'm going to tell her off. This ain't right. Lord, how can this, how can I just sit by and be still and just quietly talk to you about this when this has happened? It was just huge to me, y'all. I said, Lord, please help me or I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do what you say is not right, which is human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. And I wanted to not act out of anger and I wanted to pray. I wanted to do the right thing. But, and many times y'all, I failed in that. Many times I did, you know, clap back. Many times I did this, that, or the other. But I, I'm just kind of saying this was the struggle. I've messed up, fallen down, Lord, help me. I didn't handle that right. Please forgive me. Please help me. And then the next time it happened, because it happened often, going to him, praying for this person. And, y'all, that's been 10 years ago. And I really hate to tell you this, but I have yet to see a change in that person. But I have seen the greatest change in myself. All by the Lord's doing. All by his promise to help us to walk this godly life. Help us in whatever we need. And two, another thing that really happened was that the Lord started to show me how wounded and hurt that this person was, how wrong they had been done in their life, and, you know, in just different ways you would think was a coincidence, somebody would be having a conversation, and it would come up about that person, and something that they knew about that had happened to them in their life, it wasn't coincidence that the Lord had me there to overhear that, and the Lord was showing me what he knew about that person's heart, and that her heart was full of bitterness, and unforgiveness, which the Bible says is like a cancer of rottenness in the bones. And that every time that person would open their mouth, that bitterness and anger would come out on whoever she was talking to. And, you know, the Lord showing me that helped me to pray more for her heart you know, that she would be able to talk with the Lord about her hurts and wounds and this and that. And be able to truly forgive and not hold grudges. All this kind of thing. I saw the way I prayed for her begin to change. Because of the work the Lord was doing in me. That would have never happened had this person not been in my life. And so I found that the very person 
that was allowed into my life to hurt me and wound me is the very person the Lord used to grow me up in him also. Because now, you know, I'm not quick to be offended when she says things that are hurtful. Even if it's at one of my kids' ball games in a crowd in front of others. And it can be very embarrassing. And I bring up that example because it's happened more than once. I'm able to let it roll off my back. And I actually feel sorry for her. I'm able to forgive more easily. I'm able to pray for my enemy more so than I used to be. Not telling you these things to make myself look good. I'm telling you how good he is and how faithful he is to his promises. He's good. He's faithful. He knows what he's doing. And you know, that person that's in your life right now that's driving you crazy. He knows. <laughs> and I just say, maybe if you haven't already, begin to ask the Lord, Lord, what can I learn from this situation? What do you want to show me or teach me? How do you want to grow me up and mature me through this situation? Help me to see this as an opportunity, like Paul said, to rejoice in suffering and trial and hardship, things like that. And I'll be praying for you too. And I hope that little story might could help somebody. It's a true story. I'm only able to share the things that have happened to me in my life and that I've walked to, through and how I have found the Lord to be so faithful to stick with me through every bit of it. All wisdom is His. And He sees the situation and He knows what He's doing. So I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.